Yes, right here, please. I'll say again. I, could, could I ask you, you to identify yourself? Sure, I'm please. Connie Morella, and I serve on the House Committee on Science Based Technology Thank you. from Montgomery County, Maryland. But I'm curious to get your response to the space station as it is being watered down. Phase one, two, three. Are we going to be able to come up with something that is going to be worthwhile? Uh, should we be working more with uh, uh, the Russians and the European, we already are supposedly with the European community, I, do you see that we're going to be able to come up with a product or a goal that's going to be worthwhile for the expenditure with the watered-down versions that we're seeing? Thank you, Congresswoman. Um, well, this is NASA work in progress. I mean, right now NASA has a uh, large design team which is busily, uh, in response to a directive from Congress, uh, redesigning. And uh, uh, what will come out of it, nobody knows. But um, it seems to me that a redesign, you say watering down, which is, I mean, it'll spend less money, but maybe it won't do things that shouldn't have been done in the first place. Um, but to do it without major participation uh, by Russia seems to me a extremely serious uh, mistake. It's true that Japan and the Europeans and Canada are uh, partners, but they're partners in a very subsidiary sense. That is, the United States calls the shots and they build their own modules and attach them. We get access to their modules, they don't get access to our modules. That, that has been the, uh, the U.S. approach to international cooperation uh, on such issues. And uh, what the uh, other spacefaring nations have long been asking, and what I think is now essential, is that the design of these should be uh, equal partnership in which everybody has something to say about uh, the long-term goals and objectives and the means of carrying it out. I can't predict what the consequences, uh, what the results will be of uh, the redesign effort, but it's certainly not impossible that uh, something simpler and cheaper can nevertheless accomplish all the goals that uh, are legitimate for, uh, for space station. And I would say that a whole lot of the of the supposed scientific uh, studies that don't involve human physiology uh, can be done elsewhere without people. Um, it's the human physiology end of things, which is what space station ought to be exclusively or almost exclusively directed towards, in my opinion.